I felt like technology wasn't as exciting as it used to be for me because technology is very rigid. Technology had something missing. So I started getting into machine learning when I was 11 years old. I'm Tanmay Bakshi, and you're watching Techfluencers with Gabs. I'm most passionate about changing the way we do things in fields like healthcare and education because I believe millions of people across the globe don't have access to the right kind of healthcare and students across the globe are being taught in the exact same way as their peers which of course doesn't work because of how we as humans learn. I'm essentially a kid in a basement trying to solve big problems by using machine learning technology. And of course, there's no enterprise backing or funding the research that I do, which is why I really appreciate the collaborations that I've got with different companies, like for example, Nimbix, uh, or if you take a look at IBM Cloud and how they provide me the resources to enable the research that I do. My role in collaborating with different companies has become global at this point. Uh, in fact, my family is almost like a rock band, traveling everywhere together, doing everything together. We've been from Iceland to New Zealand at this point. In fact, two years ago, my dad had to quit his full-time job to make sure he could keep doing this. Without my mom's help, of course, everything would spiral out of control, almost. Uh, she helps me stay focused so I can do what it is that I love to do and that I'm most passionate about. Mental illness is a huge problem, and we can really make huge strides in solving it by using artificial intelligence technology. But without the kind of data sharing that's necessary for machine learning to work, it simply won't be possible to solve this problem. I understand that people value their privacy, and of course so do I. But without data, machine learning technology simply is useless. It cannot be trained without the right kinds of data sets. Imagine how many other problems we couldn't have solved if it weren't for us sharing data for machine learning to be implemented. Like for example, melanoma in Australia, or taking a look at poaching in Africa, or even fraud detection for banks in the field of finance. Progressive healthcare providers in New York, like Bronx Care and Jewish Board, are using AI to improve predictability and reliability in their computer infrastructure operations. AI ops platform, like Gavel from Gavs, is being used to improve predictability of critical technology infrastructure. It can predict potential outages two to three weeks in advance, thereby improving the IT infrastructure reliability, which is used to support trauma and other emergency patients. It is absolutely a great time to be an entrepreneur or a coder or a programmer. Now, if you're just like me, please do not be afraid to reach out to companies and ask them for different resources, data sets, and even sometimes computing power. NVIDIA, for example, has this GPU grant program where they'll give you a GPU that you can go ahead and use for your research. Different companies like IBM actually have startup programs where they can actually fund your IBM cloud for a year or so to enable you to develop your company or your application. We need developers that can work with next generation technology and that support open source initiatives and collaborative initiatives to enable whole industries to move forward as a whole. One of my goals is to help and reach out to 100,000 aspiring coders because I have been seeing that there simply aren't enough resources for the beginners, for the kids that want to get into technology. And I want to enable as many people as possible to work with this technology and make a less steep learning curve.
While machines may have the ability to find really deep patterns in structured and unstructured data, they will simply never be able to match the human ability of coming up with new ideas or hypotheses based off of data that they haven't even seen yet. That's true human creativity and imagination. It's hard to say I could do something related to machine learning. Don't be afraid of AI and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. Right? Something of that sort? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and remember the machines are not coming for you.